Why so the I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not, Chi, we're holding in the chapter eight, nine, eight, yeah. eighty-eight, tracted Shabbos, and the name of the chapter is Omar Rabbi Akiva. Mm. So we'll start from um, the top. It says the Rabbanon, according to the Rabbi Shmuel Chaserim Avud, they made eight deficient months that year instead of just six. Since, uh, meaning deficient month, that it has only 29 days versus 30 days. Um, <clears throat> and since, it's a usually just six deficient months. Now, this time they made eight deficient months since uh, the year was two days shorter than usual. The dates fell um, two days later in the week that reckoned above. <clears throat> Let's see, number one it says... That is, the rabbis maintain that Nisan of the first year began on Friday. Um, thus, Iyar began on Sunday and Sivan on Monday. So each month it was pushed one day. Nisan Friday, Iyar Sunday, and Sivan Monday. So the commentators, the the so the commentators point out that this in this answer. I contradict the Gemara on 87b, which states that the, in the uh, rabbi's opinion, Ia was extended to 30 days. According to that approach, the Gemara here should have answered that there were only seven deficient months, and thus Nisan began on Thursday and Ia on a Shabbos. Nevertheless, since Ia was extended, Sivan did not begin until a Monday. As shown in uh, 87b, note 13, it is stated below why the Gemara changed its explanation of the rabbis. Okay, so we'll see. We'll start from uh, the top. Tashma, the Tanya B'Seder Oilam. It is taught in Seder Oilam Nisan Shabayotsu we saw in Mitzrayim. Nisan, which was the, the Jewish people um, left Mitzrayim. Ba'abos HaShorot Pischem. On the 14th of the month, they slaughtered the Pesach offerings. Ba'chamish HaSoyotsu. On the 15th, they left Mitzrayim. Boys, I am Shabbos Hoyo. On that on that day, the fifteenth was a Friday. Umidereish Yachod in the center of Shabbos. Now, since the beginning of the month of Nisan was a Friday. Um, we see on Bisrei Bishabos. Umidereish Yachod the center of Shabbos. Since the beginning of the month of Nisan was a Friday. Reish Yachod the Yochad Bishabos. The beginning of the month. Of Ia was a Sunday, Sivan Bisrei Bishabu. And the beginning of the month of Sivan was a Monday. Kasha Rabbi Yaisi, this is a contradiction to Rabbi Yaisi, who holds that Sivan began on a Sunday. And therefore, he holds that since Matan Torah was on Shabbos, so he said that Matan Torah actually happened on the 7th of Sivan, not on the 6th of Sivan. Amal Rabbi Yaisi. Hamani Rabononi. It is the, the opinion of the rabbis. Tashma, second day of Sivan, Moshe went up the mountain and came down. On the third day, he also went up and came down. On the fourth, he came down and did not go up again until the Ten Commandments were given. Since it did not go up on the fourth day, it says on the fourth day, Yorad Veshuv Loyol. He came down, but it doesn't say that he went up. So since he didn't go up, Meichan Yorad, from where did he come down? On the fourth day, he also went up and came down. On the fifth day, he built an altar. Vikri Bol of Kopan and bought an offering on it. But Shishi Loyal Openai on the sixth day he did not have an opportunity to go up. Now, why did he have why did he have no opportunity on the on the sixth day? My Allah Mishum Torah, surely it was because the Torah was given on that day. So the Vice indicates that the Torah was given on on the sixth day of Sivan, contrary to Rabbi Yesus' view. That it was given on the seventh. The Gemara resolves the problem. It says no. With the reason why he did not bring a carbon on the sixth day, or did not go up on the sixth day, because 
Mishum Terach Shabbos. It was because he was engaged in the labor of preparing for Shabbos that he did not have time for that day. Those who glory the Avichizda are certain Galilee and lectured in the presence of Avichizda as follows. Brich Achmon, how blessed is the merciful one, the Avoyan Tilisoi, who gave our Torah of thirds, the Am Tilisoi, people of thirds, on a day Tilisoi, through a person born third to his mother. Beyim Tilisoi, on the third day, of abstinence, viyach atalisoi, during the third month of the year. Keman, with whom does this uh, teaching accord? Kerabonon. Accords with the rabbis. So see how many, how many uh, number three do we have? We have, um, we have the Torah, the Av, Brich Achmono, blessed is the mercy from the Av, Orion, Talisoi, who gave our Torah of thirds. What does it mean, the Torah of thirds? It says everything has to do with the number three. Interesting, they didn't mention like the patriarchs. Maybe the people of thirds is it says Gan Levim Israelim. But uh, what about Avo Mitzvah Kenyako? Anyhow, so he said, He stood at the foot of the mountain. Teaches that the this teaches that Hashem, blessed, blessed is He, covered with the covered them with the mountain, as though it were an un upturned vat. Upturned if you accept the Torah, fine. If not, your burial will be there. From here, stem strong grounds for a notification of coercion regarding acceptance of the Torah. Right. What does it mean? It says in number 27, that is, if God summons them to court and demands to know why they did not fulfill their commitment to observe the Torah, they could respond that their commitment was coerced. You forced us. It's not like we really accepted it. Right. Um, I'm a Rav Afa Pichen. Nevertheless, they accepted the Torah again in the days of Hashverosh. Dichtiv, Kimu, Vekiblu, Ayehudim, the Jews established and accepted, which is interrupted, interpreted to mean Kimu, Masha, Kiblu, Kva. They established in the days of Hashverosh that which they had already accepted in the days of Moshe Rabbeinu. From heaven you made judgment heard. The earth became afraid and grew calm. If it became afraid, why did it grow calm? If it grew calm, why did it become afraid? Rather, the Pesach means in the beginning, before Israel accepted the Torah, the earth became afraid. And in the end, it grew calm. Why did it become afraid? Like the teaching of Ishlakish. And there was evening and there was morning the sixth day. Why do I need the extra letter Hey? Why do I need the letter Hey? It teaches that Hashem. Blessed is he stipulated with work, with the works of creation. And he said to the work of creation, If the Jewish people accept the Torah, you will endure. I return to you, return you to astonishing emptiness, chaos. The time Israel preceded, we will do and we will do to, we will hear 
בואו שישמרי בו של מערכה, שעוד יכול לאכול ואין יכול לישרול. Sixty myriads of ministering angels came to each of each, came to each and every Jew, כל שולם שני חסורים, they tie two crowns on each Jew, אחד כנגד נייסה ואחד כנגד נשמה, one corresponding to we will do, and one corresponding to we will heal. חייב ונשכות ישרול, but when ישרול sin. With a golden calf, Yodu Mevesim Malochi Chabolo, Ferku, one hundred and twenty myriads of destructive angels descended and removed the crown Shinema. This is as it is stated by Snats, Luvne Sola Sedma, Cherev, the children of Israel were stripped of their jewelry from Mount Cherev. Avichamar Khanina, Avichamar, in the said name of Bichanina, Bechirev, Ton, Cherev. They loaded the crowns onto the people. Bechirv poku chirv. They unloaded the crown. Bechirv tanun chirv. They loaded the crowns. Kedamon, as we said above. Bechirv poku chirv. They unloaded the crowns. Zechtiv es natsu when they saw the children of Israel were stripped. Am biyochem v'chulan zochem v'shul and talon meshi merit had received all of them, and indeed he took them. The smich lei moshe ikach asoyel. It says moshe would take the tent. In the future, Hashem will return them to us. And the redeemed, the redeemed ones of Hashem will return and come to Zion with song and with everlasting joy upon their heads. Simcha al-Roisham, a joy that was upon their heads. Long ago, the crowns they received at Sinai. At the time Israel preceded, we will do, and then we will hear. Also, was called Amulan, a heavenly voice commanded, emanated, and said to them, Who revealed my children to my children the secret which ministering angels used? It is written, Blessed Hashem. Oh, his angels, the strong warriors who do his bidding to hear the voice of his word. First it is written, who do, and then it is written to hear. This is a pasuk in Shira Shirim, like an apple a tree among the trees of the forest. Why are the Jewish people compared to an apple? Just as... In the case of this apple tree, its fruit precedes precede its leaves. So too the soil precedes, we will do, to we will hear. So apple, the fruit precedes the leaves. Mm-hmm. And therefore, that's what they make it. Shleim HaMelech says, Ketapuach Batzayar, like an apple among the trees of the forest, that the, the Jewish people compared to an apple tree. 57 says that's an interesting. The performance of mitzvahs is compared to fruit, and the study of mitzvahs to leaves. Uh, because performance is primary, whereas the study is only subsidiary, as stated in Pirkei an alternative explanation, the leaves of a tree serve to protect its fruit. Nevertheless, the fruit of an apple tree begins to form before its leaves. Likewise, the Jewish people declare their willingness to do the mitzvahs even before they had the protection of knowing what they w- what they entailed. Meiroi mei sode. Nice, right, Eker? Oh, mira the chazid rov the command v'shmaita. There was a seduki. Who saw Rava studying a Talmudic matter, Vyosvo Etzbaose Diode Tusei Karo. And Rava had put the fingers of his hands under his leg, Vekamo Etzbu, and he was crushing them, crushing his finger, Vekama Bon Etzbaose Dam, and his fingers were flowing with blood. Omar Lei, the Sadduki, said to Rava, Amo Pezizo, the Kadmisu Pumaycholud Naichu. Impulsive people who put their mouth before their ears. Akti befchuzosaychu kaimaisu. Befchuzosaychu kaimisu. You will preserve 
persevere. You will you you still pers persevere in your impulsiveness. That's what he meant to tell him. First, you should have heard the commandments so that you have known whether you were able to accept them. And if you did not first hear the commandments, you should not have accepted them. Omar Leis Rava said to the Sadduki Anan, we the Saginan Bishlimuso, who go in the ways of complete faith, Ksiv Bon Tumas Soishoim Tanchen, the perfect faith of the upright shall lead them. Hanoch in Shidis Gon Bariluso, those people who go in the ways of perverseness. Perverseness. Ksiv Beru Veselef Boigdim Yeshodem. And the and the perverseness, perverseness of the faithless shall destroy them. Yeah. So again, Posuk from Shira Shirim, from Song of Songs. You have captured my heart, my sister. O bride, you have captured my heart with your eyes. At first, when you accepted the Torah of Achaz Meinayich, you attracted me with one, with only one of your eyes. But when you perform the Torah, you attract me with both of your eyes. Shameless is the bride who is unfaithful while still in her bridal chamber. What's the what's the story behind it? While well, still at Sinai, only a few weeks after accepting the Torah, right. the Jewish people sinned with the golden calf. So it's right. like a, a bride who is unfaithful while still in her bridal chamber. Yeah, but there's an out to it. Amar Mori the Rav the Shmuel, Rav Mori the son of Shmuel's daughter said, "My crow at shamelch b'msibu inerdi v'gemer." Apostle from Song of Songs, while the king was still at his banquet, my perfume gave out its fragrance. Though the Apostle describes our nation's disgrace, it is still with a show of uh, endearment towards us that it does so. It is written, gave out, and it is not written putrefied. Those who suffer insult but do not insult in response, who hear their disgrace but do not reply, who performs God's will out of love and are happy even in suffering, regarding them the Pasuk states, but they, but they who love Him who love God shall be at the sun as the sun going forth in its might. This is a Pasuk in, uh, I guess, in the book of Judges, chapter 5, verse 31. My Lord made a declaration. The heralds are a mighty host. Called every single statement that emanated from the mouth of the Holy One, blessed be in Nechak Mashiv Noshan, was divided into 70 languages. So the way Rabbi Shmuel was taught in the Academy of Rabbi Shmuel, Hapatish, Sola, like a hammer, the word of God breaks a rock. This teaches Ma Patish and Nechak Hamanitzah just as a hammer. Causes the, causes the rock to be divided into many slivers. And it smashes, breaks under us, there's little pieces. Who every single statement that emanated from the mouth of the Holy One, blessed is He. Nechlak l'shivim l'shoynois was divided into 70 languages. Listen, for I will speak princely things. Why are the words of the Torah compared to a prince? To tell you 
just as this prince has the power to kill and to give life so to the words of Torah I have the power to kill and the power to give life to those who grasp who grasp it with their right hand the Torah is a drug of life what does that mean they grasp it with the right hand those who endeavor with all their might to uncover the Torah's secrets are compared to someone who uses his right hand, his stronger hand, to perform a task. That's the Rashi's interpretation. Alternatively, Gemara refers to those who study Torah for its own sake. They learn Lishma. According to Rashi, uses all of his strength. According to the, the Gemara, uh, alternative interpretation is that they are doing it Lashem Shomayim, Lishma, for its own sake. So those who grasp it with the left hand is a drug of death. Torah's effects on the soul is comparable to a drug's effect on the body. A drug must be properly used to cure a person from sickness, otherwise it can cause his condition to be to worsen. Similarly, the Torah requires the appropriate usage for its beneficial properties to be effective. This is not uh, contradicted by the principle stated in Psochim 50b. A person should always study Torah even if he has ulterior motives because through his study of Torah, for ulterior motives, he will eventually reach the level of studying Torah for its own sake. That principle applies to one who does, who does not study for malicious reasons. For example, he studies in order to receive honor. Here the Gemara discusses one who studies Torah for the sake of being contentious contentious and using his knowledge as a weapon against others. Busting chops. Tavorach and Egidi in scripture uses the, the metaphor of princes because every single statement that emanated from the mouth of the Holy One blessed is he had two crowns tied to it. Amabishob and Levi my dichtiv tzeroi ramayu doi dili ben shodayoli what does it mean? A bundle of mirth is my beloved to me, lodged between my... It's myrrh. myrrh. A, a, a bundle of myrrh yeah, is my perfume beloved. Stuff. Yeah, perfume. Is my beloved to me, lodged between my... Bosom. Here, bosom. The, the ladies, they put it here, you know. Uh... Okay. Our Knesset is swell if not the Congregation of Israel said before the Holy One, blessed is He. Rebbeinu Shalolim, Master of the Universe, Afa Bishemay Tzer Umei Merli Doidi Ben Shodayolin. Even though my beloved God has distressed and embittered me, He is nevertheless lodged between my bosom. Bosom. She says in twenty-seven, God immediately commanded the people to build the Mishkan and the Shechina. Uh, resided in the Mishkan between the two poles of the ark, which pressed into the curtain, giving the impression from without of twin bosom like protrusions. A cluster of a cluster of Hena, Hena is my beloved to me in the vineyards of Engedi. Gedi. He to whom all belongs makes atonement for me. For the sin of the kid, the golden calf, which I hipped up for myself. Homiletically taken, karmi, uh, homiletically taken to mean hipping up. My what indicates that word kami signifies heaping up. It is as we learned in a Mishnah, a laundry chair on which one heaps up clothing. What is the meaning of that which is written? Is God is God's 
cheeks are like a bed of spices called Every single statement emanated from the mouth of God. The whole world became filled with fragrance. Since it was filled already from the first utterance, what happened with the second statement? He took the wind from his storehouses and drove away each fragrance in turn. His lips are flowers, they drip flowering myrrh. Don't read Sheshanim. Ela Sheshanim. Sheshonim, which means they repeat. Pasuk is interpreted allegorically to mean his lips, his wind, repeatedly caused the fragrance of spices such as mirror to flow away and introduce the new one. Every single statement emanated from the mouth of God. Blessed is he, the souls of the Jewish people departed from their bodies. My soul departed as he spoke. Since their souls departed after the first statement, how could they receive the second statement? God brought down a dew, the dew which will um, resurrect the dead in the future. When he resurrected them, a generous rain did you lavish, oh God, when you're, what? Lavish. Lavish, yeah. A generous rain did you lavish, oh God, when your heritage was wary, you established it firmly. Every statement emanated from the mouth of Hashem, the Jewish people retreated 12 mils. The ministering angels helped them to totter, to totter back. Totter back. Totter back. Totter back, yeah. voice, yedidun, yedidun, yedoidun, yedoidun. The angels of legions totter, they totter. Don't say, don't read it as yedoidun, yedadun, which means they helped others to totter. When Moshe ascended the heavenly heights, the angel said before Hashem, Blessed is he, what is someone born of a woman doing among us? He has come to receive the Torah. The coveted and treasure Torah Shignu Zalecho Teisha Meis Vishivim Ba'abar Deus Kedem Shini Vo'elam that was stored by you as a treasure for 974 generations before the world was created. Atom Evakish Lina Lavos of Adom you intend to give it to give that to a to flesh and blood Ma'enesh Kisiz Kedenu V'nod Kisiz Kedenu what is a mortal man? What is a mortal that you should remember him or the son of man that you should recall him? Hashem madir Hashem our God, how grand is your name in all the earth already? Asher to that you should rather bestow your glory upon the heaven. Omar Lu Akash Bokul Mejahl and Chuba Hashem said to Mesha respond to them, give them an answer. Omalem Omar the Fun of Ibanishalo Misyore Ani Ishmaizabun Babu Shafim, I fear to reply to them lest they burn me with the breath in their mouth. Omar Lay Echois Bikisak Bedi Bahazul and Chu Take hold. God said to Mesha, take hold of the throne of my glory, and then give them an answer. Shenema, Machis, Pnei Chisei, Parshas, Olav, Anonai. 
as it says, he allows him to grasp the face of the throne. He spreads upon upon him his cloud. Posuk teaches that the Almighty spread some of his radiance, of his presence, and his cloud upon Moshe. Moshe said, Before we bring the show, Master of the Universe, to Shato Nason Lee, the Torah that you are giving me, Makasiv Bo. What is written in it? Hashem, your God, who is taking you out of the land of Mitzrayim, Omar Loin, Moshe said to the angels, Let Mitzrayim Yaradatim, question mark. Did you descend to Egypt? Were you enslaved to power? What should, why should the Torah be yours? Shuv, Mark, Yisiv, Bo, what else is written in the Torah? There shall be not, there shall not be unto you gods of, gods of others. others. Do you live among nations who worship other gods? Worship of Vedas Gilulim, worship idols. And it goes on and on. We'll continue this um, subject tomorrow, God willing.